So on my old channel, and I mean really old channel, one of my most successful videos is me showing some Toho games running on my Android phone. The video did fairly well, so I thought I'd go ahead and remake it over here and add to it by explaining how I did it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run Toho and other PC98 games on Android. And to make it even better, I'm going to show you how to do it with completely free and open source software. Now, in order to run Toho or other PC98 games on Android, you will need two things. First, you need RetroArch, and second, you need your ROM files. Now, I'll get on to how to install RetroArch in a moment, but I'd first like to say, for obvious reasons, I can't tell you where to get ROMs. But what I can say is they're not particularly hard to find, and unless you're more morally pure than the rest of us, you probably know where to find them. Now, to install RetroArch, you can just go ahead and search it and install it on the Google Play Store if you want. But since this channel is about free and open source software, I'll also go ahead and show you how to install it through the F-Droid Store. So here we are on device, as you can see. What I'm going to do now is show you how you can go ahead and install RetroArch from F-Droid. Now the first thing that you need to do is of course install F-Droid. Now I'm not going to go into that in this guide, but there are plenty of great guides out there on how you do that, and it's not necessarily that difficult. So what you want to do, go into F-Droid, and then go into the Settings tab, go into Repositories, add the following repository, and then click Add, and what it will go ahead and do is it will refresh our repositories, and it will add this one. And once that's done refreshing, we can now go ahead and install RetroArch. Now just go ahead and search for it, of course, and you get several options. Most modern phones are going to want the Arch 64 one, but we are on a 32-bit device, so we probably want that one. If you're not sure what your phone is, you can just get the normal RetroArch one, and it should theoretically work on most devices. And what it will go ahead and do is download it and install it. So we will be back once that's done. And we now have RetroArch installed from F-Droid, so this is so far entirely free and open source software used. If we go down into our applications menu and launch F RetroArch, we can see that it's installed. So just go ahead and grant uh, external storage access, and what it will go ahead and do is kind of configure RetroArch and extract all the assets and such. Next, you want to go into Load Core, download a core, and you want to scroll down until you see NEC PC98 Neko project. Now I actually can't tell which is which because it's kind of cut off at the end, but what you want is the one that says Neko project 2 Kai. You go ahead and tap that and it will go ahead and install it. Then go ahead and tap load core, load in Neko project Kai. Now we've loaded our core, next we want to go ahead and load the ROM. Now I've just gone ahead and copied the ROMs onto the device, so we will go ahead and use those. And I've gone ahead and saved it in storage, emulated, and just a folder called ROMs. We want to go ahead and load the ROM file. And as you can see, it will load our game, but we're not done quite just yet. You can see the little alien logo just above the controller. You want to go ahead and tap that. Then go down to options. And you can potentially configure all of these options, and different settings might be better or worse for your device. You might be able to get better emulation and that sort of thing. But the main setting that we are interested in is joypad, d-pad to mouse. You go ahead and tap that, and then set it to arrows. And then we go back into our game. And what it should do is go ahead and load our game. And as you can see, and possibly here, it has. And as you can see, performance is not the best because the device I'm running this on is fairly low end. But I've run it on higher end devices and it will work very well if you have like a more modern device. But as you can see, it's going ahead and loading up the title screen. It's very slow, but you might be able to change a few settings and have it run better. And what you can see is the buttons are working completely fine, which is why we changed that setting earlier. If we press the right and mouse buttons, it will go ahead and do that. And if we just go ahead and go in game to show you that everything works, and here we are in game. As you can see, the frame rate isn't too bad until things start loading in. But of course, like I said, if you had a higher end device, this would run much better. And as you can see, it's good old classic Toho. And of course, other PC98 games will work, but I can't give any comment on the compatibility as I am only really used to playing Toho like this. And what I can also say is this game is very playable with the on-screen touchscreen. 
Of course, at like higher difficult settings, you might struggle, but for the most part, it works fine. So with that said, I think that's it for today's video, and I will just leave you with some gameplay footage. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.